Orioles hosting the Phillies. The Phillies are plus 108 on the money line. The Orioles are minus 126. The over-under is 7.5 runs. The Phillies getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 205, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Orioles laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 168, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. It is supposed to be 84 degrees, 6 mile an hour winds, and 35% chance of rain. The Phillies are getting their asses kicked right now, 9-3 to three by the Red Sox, and the Orioles had already lost for the day. Suarez pitched once against the Orioles last year. Six innings, four runs, four earned. They won 6-4. He struck out four. And Bradish pitched against him in that game. Six and two-thirds, five runs, five earned. They lost 6-4. He struck out three. Head-to-head, -head, they're 5-5 five five against each other. The Phillies are on a two-game winning streak. The home team is on a two-game winning streak. The road team is 6-4. The favorites won the last two games they played against each other, while the underdog is 6-4 on the money line, and the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 9-1. There have been seven one-run games in their last 10 meetings, including two out of the three games they played against each other last year. The under is 6-3-1, and, and the over-under at 7.5 runs is 5-5. Five the Phillies, as a team, are 4-1 and one in Suarez's last five starts. They've won his last two starts. The under is 3-1-1 one one in his last five starts. Five innings pitched, four hits, two runs, 1.4 of which were earned, six strikeouts, 1.8 walks, 0.2 home runs, 80.6 pitches, and 15.2 pitches per inning. For the Orioles, they are 4-1 and one in Bradish's last five starts as well. The under is 4-1 and one in those starts. They've won his last three starts. Four and two-thirds innings pitched, 3.2 hits, 1.6 earned runs, seven strikeouts, two walks, no home runs, 85.2 pitches, and 18.8 pitches per inning. And he had one really shitty performance against the Rays where he gave up five earned runs and two and two-thirds innings pitched. Everything else has been pretty solid. The Phillies, this is going to be inaccurate because they're playing right now and losing. So we'll go over the last three games. 11 runs, five runs, and then 14 runs. Five runs in a loss. Four runs in a win, six runs in a loss, and right now they have three runs in the game that they are losing. For the Orioles, they are 7-3 and three in their last 10. The Braves beat them today. Uh, seven runs, four runs, six runs, nine runs. Five runs in a win, four runs in a win, four runs in a win, three runs in a loss. I'm going to take... I will take the Orioles with the money line. I will take the Phillies getting the runs, and I'm going to go under. Seemingly, when these teams play each other, they're going to be close. Both of these pitchers' stat lines are pretty damn close to each other, so we'll see if it's the bullpen that screws it up. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.